we're going to be talking today just about all of the academies uh, one at a time, but very briefly, so don't expect to be here for super long. And then we will open the floor for questions or comments or anything about the academy system. I just want to do a, a few opening remarks on the academy system itself. Um, I know a lot of people hear the word academy, and like they might, especially amongst the Legionnaires, be thinking, oh, well, I'm here to play a game, I'm not here to work. And I just want to reinforce to everyone that the academy system is not something that's meant to be school. It's not something that's meant to be work. It's just meant to be something that is an option for everyone who wants to learn more about the game. Like, honestly, we, we focus a lot of our attention and our energy on creating a good new player experience uh, for everyone who enjoys Planet Side 2 or wants to enjoy Planet Side 2. And I feel that uh, we lose a lot of new players to just the general mess that is everything in Planet Side 2. The, the wonderful sandbox mess of Planet Side 2 be very jarring for a new player and i know that they're working on the new player experience them being daybreak but we as you know one of the bigger outfits in the game can also help supplement their efforts with our own it's one of the reasons that we are so large and so effective is because we help our population like we help the community we help new players in our platoons we we answer their questions and this, the Academy system is basically just an extension of what SKL already does. We already help new players. We already try to prevent or provide safe spaces for in our platoons for new players to ask questions and to learn the game at their own speed. And this is just systematizing that. The Academy system exists to help anyone who wants to learn. And it is not meant to be, we don't hand out homework. We don't do tests. Like everything we do is ele elective to a point. Now, if you do sign up for the academies, you might be given, uh, for lack of a better word, like exams or something, but all of that is completely optional, and everything is we do in the academy system is just to provide help. Now, it's not just for new players, um, Zed. It's just we, 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 we've spent a lot of our early efforts in the academies to help new players, and the ones who are already advanced that sign up for the ac academies get, go into the more intermediate stuff. But our primary focus as SKL has been and always will be making sure that we get a lot of new player retention and that everyone is having fun. We're, we're trying to bring the skill floor of the Legion and of the community in general up just a couple, couple notches to where everyone feels like they're on an equal playing field. But beyond that, there are more advanced courses that we're going to be going over uh, here shortly. Now that I've went over the opening remarks, I'm going to go ahead and just start with the first few big announcements. Uh, first off, I want to congratulate uh, Lord Poncho, the Unknown, and Snack, and thank them for being here. And I'm going to hand off speaking privilege to Lord Poncho, who's going to has a very exciting announcement for everyone. All right, thank you. So, hello, everybody. As you all know, we've been working on the Infantry Academy for about a month or so now. And I am proud to say that officially, starting today, we are going gold. We are launching. You can find the sign-up form down below in Infantry Structure once that opens up. So feel free to fill that out and get involved. So if you're unaware, the Infantry Academy is our take on the new player experience for infantry. If you're willing to learn and practice infantry, we will take you no matter what your skill level is and try to bring you up as best we can. Within the academy itself, you'll go through various trainings to help improve your skills. We have we are planning on hosting trainings on the first and third weekend of every month. They will be open to everyone across all factions. As well, we will be hosting one-on-one -on -one trainings that you can sign up for by request, and we will have instructors reach out to you to work with you. Beyond that, we will also be hosting gameplay review requests. So if you want to record a 10, 20 minute clip of your gameplay and submit it, we will have an instructor do a play-by-play -play review of your footage and provide feedback to you. And we'll also be hosting internal scrimmages on Jaeger, where we will fight between your fellow academy students to work on various skills such as aiming, positioning, movement, and all that stuff. So specifically with the staff, the Infantry Academy will be headed by myself, Snack, and the Unknown, who are all here. And we will have leads, slash instructors, slash whatever you want to call them. Those will be Calamity105, one of our HK leaders. 
ILS CE, a Praetorian Guard member, Jody Paolo, also another Praetorian Guard member, Nate DeBear, and Mara TV, who are also very high skilled players. They will be helping you with, with the majority of the teaching. Feel free to reach out to any of those people regarding questions about the Infantry Academy or put them in the meeting text channel. So specifically, some of the content we'll be hosting is, like I said, we'll have trainings open to everybody on the first and third weekend of the month, held between 6 and 7 p.m. Eastern. And then the one-on-one -on -one trainings, once the academy goes live, you'll find a sign-up form an infantry structure that you can fill out the contact info, leave any comments you feel like the instructor should know about. And you'll be reached out within a couple days with a overall recap. As for scrimmages, as I said, we'll be hosting these on Jaeger, either in a 6v6 or 12v12 format. Unlike live play, Jaeger is a special community-driven server where it's a lot more regulated, unlike live. So to that end, there'll be a lot more kind of control we have over the quality of fights so we can control who goes in, what's going on, the amount of cheese that goes on so you won't have to deal with you know, the usual air to ground banshee or hash tank, that kind of stuff. As for Jaeger, when you sign up, you'll be required to at least have achieved the infantry baller rank, which I'll go over a little bit later. And then we'll assign accounts as needed. So at launch, we will have three stages of infantry competency classes, whatever you want to call them. 100 will be basic information. Everyone will start there. And here we will go over kind of important keybinds, settings you need to set, and give you a brief overview of the classes, what you should know about that. Infantry 200 will go over solo infantry skills. This is going to be the meat of how you get better as a one-on-one -on -one shooter. So you'll learn about aiming, engagement range, targeting players, headshots, cone of fire, wall jumps, peeking, shuffling, and strafing. And then the third and final a little section we'll be having at launch is 300, which is group skills. So here you'll focus on learning to play within a group, like in a platoon or small squad, kind of like how HK runs or our public platoons runs. And here you'll learn callouts, how to be aware of your surroundings, and how to just work together as a cohesive unit. So that's all I've got. If Snacker, no one would like to say anything, feel free. Otherwise, I'll pass it over to Prozan. It should be now viewable for everyone to see. Yeah, we got some cool colors too for your role, so uh, look forward to that. Yeah, just give us a little bit of time to process your applications once they go live. But everybody should be able to join. Sounds good. Yeah, uh, unknown snack. You have any comments, or are we good to move on? I think we're good. So. All right. Yep. Yeah, I'm very exciting, very excited about this. I should say uh, the Infantry Academy is something that we, you know, because a lot of SKL's play is boots on the ground infantry play. So it's very important for us to get the Infantry Academy rolling as quickly as possible, but also with enough heads and instructors and uh, a curriculum planned out to where we know we can hit the ground running and there's not going to be any faltering. And I have full faith in all of the heads, I've worked with them quite a bit, and I, uh, I, I feel like that they are as prepared as possible for this monumental task. So feel free, go sign up. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I, the scrims especially seems like they're going to be pretty fun. So everyone join in on that. And if anyone has any questions about the Infantry Academy specifically, feel free to post in the meeting text channel or just wait for the Q&A at the end. Uh, we'll get to those afterwards. We're going to move on topics real quick. We're going to talk about the Officer Academy. Now, for, for many of you, or you already know this, but for those of you that don't, the Officer Academy is the first academy that launched. It launched around April or May uh, of this year. Uh, we've been going on for a solid four or five months now, and I really feel like the Officer Academy that I started has been doing a really good job of just cranking out broodlords, giving them a safe place to talk in the Discord. Uh, that's one of the reasons... That's one of the things that I feel like is very important for these academies is like the, the training is great, the documents are great, the videos are great, but it's it's important to just give people a safe space somewhere on the Discord to just talk about the things that they want to talk about in regards to these topics. Like the Officer Academy 
section of the Discord is just for the Broodlords and above. It's just a place to talk about leading platoons, leading squads, and, uh, strategy, and stuff like that. There, it's nice and uh, curated. It's a good experience to have. The Air Academy is much the same, and I'm sure the Infantry Academy will be exactly like that as well. So if, if for no other reason than you just want a place to talk to your peers about this type of stuff, I would highly recommend the Academies. With the Officer Academy specifically, I would just like to say that here recently, at the last town hall, I got a promotion to Cerebrate, and as of that promotion, my new function is going to be as the Cerebrate over all of the academies in an operational sense, which means that I just kind of talk to the academies. Uh, I mean, Poncho and Unknown and Snack will say that I've kind of sat in on a lot of their meetings. I, I just kind of make sure everything's running smoothly. I talk to the Officer Academy. I talk to the Infantry Academy. We're working with the Construction and Armor Academy as well. I just kind of am over everything, just making sure everything is functioning as it should be. With that in mind, I have to announce that I am, will be stepping down officially as the head of the Officer Academy, just because of my new function does not in line with that. And as the new head of the Officer Academy, we are going to be promoting Horace as the Officer Academy head. And I know he's recording right now, so he's not going to be able to say anything, but Horace, congratulations. I have full faith in you uh, to be the new head of the Officer Academy. Horace and Poncho were the two people that started the academy with me, and it, it, it makes me so proud to see Poncho go off and help head another academy and for Horace to step up and do this job that I've been doing for months. They've been doing it with me. They know exactly how it runs. Like no, Nothing is really going to change. Um, and we're very happy to see them moving forward in these projects so i will be i will of course be helping out with all of the academies i'll still be there for the officer academy this is more than just like a bureaucratic thing i am the cerebrate over all academies so there needs to be a new head of the officer academy and horace will be the new head so everyone congratulate horace in the meeting checks channel he's recording right now so he's not gonna be able to talk but i have full faith in, the, in everyone that we put for these jobs to do what they're supposed to be doing all right now, moving on, we're going to be talking about the Air Academy, and there's no one better to talk about the Air Academy than the head of the Air Academy, so I would like to invite uh, Angel of Darkness slash Jinx to come to the stage and just talk about what's been going on with the Air Academy, how, how everything's going for them, what they need, what, they, what they're doing good at, what they, what they need help with. So, Jinx, I sent you the request to speak. There you are, and the floor is yours. Hello, everyone. Congrats, Horace. You can't speak, but uh, well-deserved on that one. Um, so the Air Academy, <clears throat> thankfully, is starting to go in the right direction once more. Uh, Cody is back. I am back. So we have our three musketeers. Me, Trim, and Cody are, are all in the works right now teaching people. Uh, we have two new instructors for sites that are going to be joining us that are being trained currently by me. We have It's Bishop and we also have, I'm forgetting his endgame name, but It's a Lion is what it, what, uh, what I know his Discord name is. Uh, and they will be training to uh, help expand our capabilities of teaching one-on-ones with students that want to learn the aircraft. Uh, also, in the background, we still have the galaxy being written up by Viper. He's working on a galaxy textbook for us. We have Flame in the background working on a air tactics for us to have, so that once you graduate from whether it be the galaxy or the scythe, which are the two right now focuses, then we'll be able to teach you squad taxes, uh, ta tactics, really working with each other, working in a platoon, working with vehicles, working with infantry, just all around being less of a one-man army and starting to join the greater SKL. Um, I am super excited about having the galaxies come up because a lot of the function of the Air Academy or an Air Squad or whatever it is, is to get people towards the objectives, whether it be Valkyries, whether it be Galaxies, 
us having that for you guys, you'll start to notice our presence a lot more once that starts getting running. You'll start seeing SKL galaxies with sites around them, dropping people on point. And that's, uh, that's really when everyone's going to really start noticing us. Right now, there's a lot of solo pilots because not we haven't had anyone graduate towards the air tactics yet. So a lot of, right now, the Air Academy is just a lot of one-on-one -on -one pilots being trained. Soon, maybe a month from now, we're going to start having our first graduates <clears throat> that will be able to start doing air tactics. And that's, uh, that's when you're going to start noticing us push back to TR Air. Uh, especially now that the Infantry Academy is, is online, once we get the Galaxies online, you're going to see some some impressive gal drops on point with max crashes it's gonna it's gonna start speeding up pretty quick and i'm i'm super excited about that um does anyone have any questions for me right now yeah mozzies go splat fly water um i am actually i don't know if everyone has noticed but there is uh the upcoming update for the bastions will thankfully make uh make bastions a thing again make bastions great again so now we will start being able to start pulling bastions once again and having giant air battles um because for a while there they were just getting nuked out of the sky the second they uh they got called in so i'm i'm excited to have giant air battles again um also uh what's currently being worked on is pray host a uh host a weekly air versus air fight on the jaeger server uh we had two people go with them last week but we're going to start officially starting to go out there with instructors with the students and be in their squads to help them learn in a uh I will say a sheltered en environment. So sheltered one-on-ones where you don't have to worry about people shooting tank shells up at you. You can just worry about flying air. Uh, so it'll be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to joining them on the on the Jaeger server. Definitely reach out to me if you're interested in that. Uh, let's see. So infantry PLs would be able to request coordinated GAO transports. Um... If there's an active squad, like there's an active air squad, that's all it's doing is air, yes. But my hope is to eventually just have people who are certed to do galaxies in your platoon to sit around and they'll know it's them when you ask for a gal drop. They're they're gonna they're gonna pull the galaxy for you because they they're in the air academy. They know exactly how. And you'll start to learn their names once they get certed. You'll always see their role. They're gonna have a role for it. And you'll start noticing them in their galaxies all sorted out and looking pimped up uh, in your platoons. You'll start, you'll start getting used to calling upon those specific people to get the job done. Um, are there any plans prior to tactics to perhaps run data air squads playing for players graduating? I find it incredibly hard to fly solo, and I think it would be great practice after trainings. Um, on the one-on-one -on -one side, uh, there is. So the first... First 100 is just knowledge, is just some stuff you need to know before you get in the aircraft. And then uh, the 200 series is where we teach you basic mechanics so you understand how to control it. And then once you get to 300 series, that's when we really start to teach you. We fly with you and other people if they're around. And we start teaching you how to fly with others. We start teaching you how to find fights. Uh, it is very, very hard to fly on your own. It's it's grueling, especially with the amount of air that TR has and the NC can have. Um, the instructors will always be, always be there, especially if you're in the one-on-ones. They're going to be flying with you no matter what. Uh, we are going to start trying to, as we get more instructors, to have more of an active influence in-game. Uh, so once we get some more instructors, you're going to start noticing it that we'll start hosting squads where maybe we're just on, we're just flying around. You can just join us and we're going to, we're going to take you guides, take you around and help, help protect you, stuff like that. Um, I learned how to kamikaze back with air is free games. You still can't fly. 
Uh, Cryos is, uh, will you train your pilots the art of transporting a Colossus through the air or other armor? Armor, yes. Colossus is a bit tricky. Um, protecting them from air, definitely. And especially if there's a Bastion coming for it. Um, Colossus are a little tricky just because of how hectic they can get. Uh, you'll sometimes see they just get swarmed. Just everything everything gets thrown at them. So it can be kind of difficult. But yes, uh, other armor, uh, people who get trained on, especially the Hornets, will start to learn how to assist armor columns. Uh, taking on an entire armor column with two Hornets isn't going to be the most effective. It's great against one-on-one -on -one against a tank. You're just going to win. There's a lot of them. Uh, what we're teaching them how to do is help you finish them off. In a large-scale armor column, you'll find that you'll get one on fire, someone will pull in front of them, and that tank will run away and repair, and they're still in the fight. What we're going to be teaching people how to do in the air is to find those people that are trying to run away and kill them before they can repair, helping the armor complete its task by limiting the reinforcements they get. Um, are you saying we should shift from squad leads flying to these trained guys? If rather than our squad leads, um, ideally the squad leads could just take a little course on how to how to properly do one. But you'll, I'm just saying, the people that are going to be galaxy certified, it's kind of my stamp of approval saying to everyone in this Discord that they know how to properly do it. So if you don't know your squad lead can do it, and there's someone in there that is galaxy certified you can rely on them it's just basically just saying giving you a role that you can filter for people and that just seeing their name and knowing that they're started you know that they can they can get the job done if you need it so it doesn't just have to be your squad leads um, no, no and, and yeah jinx j just to jump in here real quick just to make it clear to everyone here just so you guys don't mess it up Guys, uh, the Air Academy is not there to teach you guys just how to make a gout drop. You you can learn how to do a gout drop by yourselves. They they're there like to to give you guys you know, tips that goes you know beyond that. It's stuff more like battle galaxies. Uh, obviously, there there are the uh, one hundred and one courses to teach you guys just how to get off the ground, but it's not. Like we're start asking people to be in the air academy to learn how to do a gal drop so i don't see any other air academy so for me that's about it thank you yeah if there's uh, anything else comes up we can re retune it at the yeah. the q a at the end but let's go ahead and keep it moving we got a couple more academies to hear from and then we will just open the floor to anyone who wants to speak so next topic will be on the armor academy now the armor academy is still a little ways off but we do have some people working on it in the background and i'd like to invite one of them up to the stage now uh slubber where are you there he is slubber has been helping work on the off the armor academy and he can come up and speak and just on how that has been going Let's assume me he can figure out how to wave his hand. No, I, I invited him already. I think he might be AFK. Well, he raised his hand. You've got to click on the top right. There should be a come up to the floor thing. Uh, top there screen. he is. There you go. Floor is your <laughs> it. it took a while for it to pop up. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Yeah, just like Pros and Sedge, the Armor Academy is still very much in its formation stage. Uh, we are looking for people who think that they can uh, help in any capacity in getting it going. Uh, even if you aren't exactly trained or feel like you're comp competent in armor currently, if you feel like you want to try and help in training, I will also be doing personal trainings in during the formation of this just to also help get some of the guides going and whatnot to get the classes the way to do classes built up a lot better so if you have any 
questions or want to help with it, just go ahead and send me a DM, and I will see about trying to get you into helping with it. That's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you. So short and sweet. Yeah, the Armor Academy, as everyone has you know has been told already, it's still very much in, in its infancy. We're hoping to release it sometime around the November area, assuming we can get some leads. So if anyone, if you're comfortable in armor, or if you want to learn how to be comfortable in armor, or you just want to learn how to read the script <laughs> and, and help with their, their instructions and their trainings, feel free to send Slubber a DM. And um, after a couple months, we're going to reevaluate the Armor Academy and just see if it's ready to launch or not. But I'm not going to spend too much time on the Armor Academy. And moving on, we're going to go to the Construction Academy. Now, the Construction Academy is even more on the back burner than the Armor Academy is. It's, it will be after the Armor Academy, somewhere hopefully in the, in the December-January range. We don't have a ton of leads signed up for it yet. We don't have a ton of instructors talking about it yet. Uh, it's very much in it's the cradle. So if anyone wants to help out with the Construction Academy, feel free to DM me or Avocado, uh, and we'll, we'll start getting some names together to actually get that rolling. Uh, the Construction Academy is something I'm personally very excited for because I think a lot of people, new players especially, see construction as kind of like a dark magic type thing that they don't understand so they just don't try to understand and it will be very nice to be able to run some classes on router bases router running uh, defensive bases uh vehicle slash air bases that you can set up to support air platoons or armor platoons there's a ton of versatility in construction that is can be very useful for the alert very useful for to a platoon and it's not just it doesn't have to just be one person going out into a field and basically playing SimCity. It can actually be, serve a, a very important function to the overall you know, position of the map, the, the situation on the map. So I'm very excited for the construction to get going. But that's pretty much all we have to say on the construction. If anyone has any questions or anything about construction, feel free to bring it up at the Q&A part, which is about to happen. So we're going to move it into the Q&A. Um, it's not so much a QA and a as just uh, any, anyone can speak. If anyone has any feedback on the Academy system, if any suggestions for the Academy system, if you want to be heard, if you want to participate, feel free to type. Exactly. Well, now, I don't see any questions uh, left, so I just want to go into... I'm going to go into final remarks real quick. Something I want to super reinforce as just the last thing that we talk about here. And I see a couple people from other outfits in here, and welcome. Um, the academies are not just for SKL. The 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 to sign up for the academy to progress through SKL is an SKL only thing. But all of our trainings are open to the public. All of our documents are freely accessible. If anyone from other outfits wants access to them, we are not here just to help SKL. We're here to help the wider community, be it Vanu, be it NC, be it be it the TR. Um, if you if any of you in your in your other outfits want to send members over to our trainings or have us come in and do like a special training for you, feel free. We'd be happy to help in any way that we can. Um, it's not just about SKL. It's about, you know, Vanu as a whole. It's about the community as a whole. And we really feel uh, in SKL that the academies help with the new player experience, that our platoons are that like you say whatever you want about Zerg fits, you can say whatever you want about alerts, winning, or whatever. What we provide is content that new players can digest easier than other the other factions can. So if we can help you help new players join the game randomly and love it rather than get confused and leave, then we will be serving our function, regardless of if you're in SKL, regardless of even if you're in Vanu. So Please, if, if, any, if any of you need any help with anything, feel free to reach out to me or any of the other uh, Elite Command members. And any of your members, anyone is free to join any of our trainings. And if no one has any other comments or questions, we can go ahead and wrap up this Academy Summit just a little ahead of time. I'll let people finish talking. Yeah, reminder, go down to the infantry structure channel and fill out the application. We're open for business for everyone now. Yeah. Make sure no one rose their hand. Nope, nope. Everyone looks good.
All right, folks, unless uh, what Mara and Angel of Darkness and uh, other people are typing is important. Oh, okay, here's a question specifically for Poncho. If I were to take a step back from SKL itself, would I still be able to be an infantry lead? Yes, Mara, you would. Um, we have people in the Infantry Academy and the Air Academy that are not members of SKL. We are not. This is not an SKL-only enterprise. Like, anyone from other academies is free to come and help. Anyone uh, from SKL is free to go help others. It's a big, it's a community where we're all about outreach. We're all about helping people. So anyone is, the, the only exception to that is that we, uh, the Officer Academy is, has, the instructors and the mentors are only SKL. And that is only because the Officer Academy is how you progress through SKL in, in rank. Now, our trainings in the Officer Academy are still free for anyone to attend, be they SKL or not. But being in the uh, Officer Academy or being an instructor is SKL only. But all the other academies, you know, like, yeah, like Poncho was saying, uh, Jody and, uh, and Les are both from Prey. Um, we have some other P-R-E-Y people in the Air Academy. Like it's, it's for whoever, whoever wants to join and participate. And yeah, Jinx, Jinx giving out a good reminder there while we still have everyone in here, guys. We have air training sessions tonight. Air Academy has a training tonight, 8 p.m. EST. Go join them, guys, if you want to learn how to fly. Uh, tonight, they're probably going to have basics uh, and also some dogfighting stuff on Scythe. Uh, Jinx can probably give you guys a better idea down in the Air Academy channels. Uh, you guys can find all that. Uh, and yeah, definitely go join. Yep, check out the OSN tonight. It'll be releasing, I think, around eight or nine. Uh, sign up for the Infantry Academy and Infantry Structure. Attend the uh, Air Academy training in a couple hours. We have a ton of stuff going on. We're very excited for everyone to participate. And with that, we will be ending this. OSN is at ten tonight. Thanks, Vox. OSN is at, yep. releases at ten tonight. So thank you all for coming. The summit was very nice. We'll have a second one probably in a couple of months. So I hope everyone got or learned something, I opened some stuff, and uh, thanks for joining us.